Yeah. And this whole thing right now too, about Robert Salas that is coming out currently in the news and him holding a press conference on, I believe this coming Tuesday, uh, I'm going to ask you your thoughts on that too, because it's, it totally goes into our national security. You know, did a tip know during that time that the, that this was going on? Um, we, and we that did. the stories. Okay. Yeah, we did Christian, by the way, I got to tell you, you, this is one of the, the best interviews I've, I've had in a long time, really, really thoughtful questions. Uh, I want to just take just a second to thank you. Um, I mean, Honestly, I feel like I'm being interviewed either by CNN or, or something like that. I mean, really, I mean, super, <laughs> super elevated question. So Thanks. hats off to you. Yeah, ATIP was aware uh, of the nuclear connection. Um, you know, we, we really owe a lot because there was a lot of information we didn't have access to. And it turned out that, that Bob, Robert Hastings did. <laughs> he did a fantastic job in his one book about uh, the, the nuclear connection. Um, and we were able to validate and substantiate exactly what was, what he was saying, um, through, through intelligence reporting. So he, he was right. Not only was it, a, was it good and accurate, but, but at the end of the day, um, it was helpful. Um, in some cases there was a little bit of information we didn't have that he did. Um, and then other cases, of course, we had some classified information he didn't have, but, but it, it helped us. Um, paint a, a little bit more fill in the blanks, if you will, right? Think of a mosaic uh, or a, a jigsaw puzzle. And and his book definitely helped, you know, place a couple pieces into the puzzle. Actually, because of him, I was able to interview some people that um, I didn't even know existed. And so it was very helpful. 